John chapter 16. The text we used yesterday morning at the 11 and the 9. And, and it's a fantastic text here, John 16, verse 13. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. So the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth, and and he will come, and he will not speak of himself, but what he hears from the Father and the Son, he will show us, he will speak, and he will glorify me, verse 14, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. You'll receive of mine and show it unto you. You think of the important words like love. You will receive of mine. God is love. Um, peace. John 20. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. It was, a, it was what Jesus said when he met the disciples after the resurrection. Uh, he will show you his peace. And then, uh, of course, joy is in the presence of God all the time in Psalm 16, 11. At his right hand are pleasures forevermore. I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, Proverbs chapter 8. And the Spirit will show this to us. In all things that the Father has are mine, Everything that the Father has is mine. He is God, right? The inheritance of the universe, the Father has it, but it's mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine and show it unto you. Well, not just simply the universe, but the relationship. They have a oneness in the relationship in John 17. And show it unto us. And this is uh, what we illustrated by the bee and the nectar in the flower. You cannot get the nectar out of the flower as a human being, but a bee can. And um, this is uh, Ralph Erskine, I think, is the one that had that illustration, and it was used by Charles Spurgeon. And it's uh, edifying to think about it. So we had in the service a picture of the flower, and then the bee, and this uh, extracting. So you have the Trinity, and you have the bee, which represents the Holy Spirit, taking from the Father and the Son and showing it to us. This is where you get edified. This is the highest kind of edification, fellowship with the Trinity. We abide in the vine, another metaphor. We are led and directed by the um, priest. We are um, paid for with intercession. We are comforted and counseled. And uh, how precious that is, that you and I have this depth, the spirit to the spirit, uh, 1 Corinthians 2, 11, Psalm 42, the deep calls unto the deep. He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit, 1 Corinthians six seventeen. 17. Uh, this is where you get your rooted, you rooted and grounded, planted. This is where you really are carried. The Lord carries us, comforts us, counsels us, teaches us. This is how we go through trials. It's communion with God. You have communion with God today. You have a fellowship with God. Um, wait upon him. And you, you have a communion. Imagine David and Jonathan, their souls were knit together. John, um, John 17, you and we are one we, we, as Jesus is one with the Father, so we are 
with each other. That's called the body of Christ. This is the work of the Spirit, not an organization, not a denomination. This is the work of the Spirit, and this is where our fellowship is. This is where we have authority, where two or three are gathered, Matthew 18, verse 20. We are baptized into the body of Christ, right? We are baptized into the body, 1 Corinthians 12, 13, drinking the same spirit. We are members of his body, Ephesians 4, verses 16 to 18. That God has given gifts to the body, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. Yes, he's raised up people. And he did that in the Old Testament, in the book of Judges, and throughout where a man or woman whose heart was right before God. His eyes go to and fro, seeking for those whose heart is perfect toward him. And he found David, Psalm 78. The Psalm 78 is interesting. You can underline all the bad words there about their sins, and then you come to the fact that he had called David. Okay, that's all. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Lord, thank you that you do not deal with us according to our sin, but according to your grace and your mercy. Lead us and guide us today. Keep us from evil. Anoint us. Wash our footsteps in butter. Uphold us. Give us words to speak in season. Yes, Lord. Bless our relationships with a lot of forgiveness. Yes, Lord. Give us words of life and encouragement. Refreshen us with honey in our mouth. Lord, bless us, bless Bible College tonight, lead and guide us in Christ's name, amen. Praise the Lord, God bless you.